So now you have a credit score. You're working, you've either pulled yours online from a reputable credit source, or you're working with a lender, and they're telling you, you know, what your credit scores are, and you get a score. And um, kind of where, how is that score, um, where's that score arrive from? Um, right now, there are three major credit agencies in the United States. Uh, they're with TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. And a credit score is a figure that is generated from analysis of data from your credit report. It summarizes your credit risk level. And it's one of the several tools that lenders use to estimate risk and many types of credit scores. Um, and most commonly score used is FICO. So if you hear the word FICO, it's another word for credit scores. So you have a credit score, 35% of your score comes from your payment history. So the number one thing that you can do to keep a great credit score is pay your bills on time. Because 35% of your score comes from payment history. The number of accounts um, paid on as agreed, negative public records or collections will re impact that payment history, delinquent accounts, um, number of past dues, how long they're past due, and how long since the last past due payment. This will all show up on your credit report if you've had a delinquent account. It's going to show you the number of past due payments on that particular account, how long it's been past due, and how long since the past due payment. So it's very important that bills are paid on time because that affects 35%. And the next is new credit. 10% of your score comes from new credit. Number of recently owned accounts, opened accounts. Okay. Uh, pro, proportion of new accounts to total accounts, so how many new accounts versus existing that will affect it. Um, number of recent inquiries. How many people are checking your credit score? So you've had a lot of people checking your credit, buying a new car, opening credit cards. All these people are checking credit. That will impact your score. Um, time passed since recent inquiries or new accounts, positive credit history after encountering problems, and check to ensure that you aren't opening numerous new accounts. So 10% of your score is derived from new credit. Hmm. Amounts owed. 30% of your score comes from amounts owed. Amounts owed on accounts, types of accounts with balances, meaning how many revolving line of credit line of credits you have compared to like term loans, which means a car payment, student loans, you're making the same monthly payment each month, compared to how many long-term loans do you have, like real estate loans, mortgages, et cetera. Um, installment versus original balances, and number of zero account balances. So if you have a lot of accounts out there with zero balances, amounts owed, 30%. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Type of credit, 10%. So it's always, it's always healthy to have a, a nice um, mixture of account types. Just don't all have revolving lines of credit, because that can kind of be received as high risk. Have a good um, mixture of account types. Uh, usually a mixture of account types usually generates better scores than reports with only numerous revolving accounts or credit cards. Uh, how far back do the past due collection report affect your credit score? That's a, a good question. Um, it depends on how delinquent of an account that was. I mean, if it's an account that was a 30-day past due one time, it may not impact your score as hard as if it was an account that is consistently delinquent. Uh, the rule is, I mean, there's really no quick fix you can really impact your credit fast and hard by not using your credit wisely, and it can take a long time to fix it. Depending on, it could take two years, five years, for it to get back to where it should be, depending on the history of that account. Sure. If hopefully that answers the score. I mean, the question. Well, bankruptcy, that has a, a limit. Ten right? years. Ten years, but something like for a late that doesn't really roll off at a certain. The, I mean, the credit card companies will report basically on the 31st day that you are late. So, and it's very, I mean, they'll tell you, I mean, they'll follow up with you 15 days past due that your card's 
late, I mean, payments late, and then 30 days come due, there's no payment, 31st day, bam, they're reporting. And it can impact your score. 50 points, and it depends on what your history is. Are you a person that consistently makes your payment on time and has a slip up? It may not impact you as bad as someone that is historically late. Someone that's historically late on their credit report, every time that they have a late payment will hit them harder just because of their history. How long do you have to have a loan out before it's reported to the credit bureau? I, I'm guessing a new mortgage or a new credit card? So either one. After your first payment's due. Okay. Then we'll re start reporting. So say you take your mortgage out today, your first payment's not due till November 1, it's gonna start reporting once your first payment hits. Hmm. And every month thereafter. Interesting. So 15% of your score is derived from the length of credit history. Uh, Meaning how, I mean, I see a lot, I work with like a lot of younger people and coming right out of college, their credit scores are low. It's not because they have used their credit poorly, they just haven't had time to build a credit score. That's just, I mean, the longer you're in the credit world, the better your score will be as long as you're responsible with credit. 15% uh, of your score is, is all derived from your length of your credit history. So the longer you have good history, the better your score will be. Pretty much it on credit scores, how they're calculated. So the big thing, the big takeaway from these few slides, make your payments on time. <laughs> <laughs> and don't open every card that you can get. I mean, yes, it's tempting, you go to the, you can save $20. No. <laughs> Pay the twenty dollars. <laughs> Save the twenty points. Yeah, right? it's going to impact my score, and now I have another credit card. Okay. 